After several delays, two canceled flights, and a lot of anxiety, I finally made it to New Orleans to meet up with my grandma. Due to the delays, I got in pretty late that night, so we just spent the time exploring Bourbon Street and eating red beans and rice, which I forgot to get a video of, but it was absolutely delicious. Our hotel was so charming. We ended up getting coffee there the next morning, and then we went to Cafe Beignet to obviously have beignets. And they did not disappoint. Honestly, I think we could have gone with less than we purchased because we got, I think, three per person, and it was a lot. I don't think we finished them. I always make a point to visit. I think they're so beautiful and intricate. This is St. Louis Cathedral and just outside you'll find Jackson Square with tarot card readings and psychic readings and you can even get some other beignets at Cafe Du Monde, which is what we do later. I like the purple. Yeah. I always go for purple. You obviously have to go through the stores and see all the Mardi Gras masks. And then right after that, we went and got lunch. I just got a salad this time, but every single meal that I ate in New Orleans was incredible. No matter where we went, This is Voodoo Authentica, a popular voodoo shop down in New Orleans. There is also another popular voodoo shop called Marie Laveau's. Uh, she is the famous voodoo queen of the Deep South. And this particular shop didn't mind that I record it, but I do know that Marie Laveau's does not allow any photos or video of any kind. I accidentally forgot, so I do have one shot of Marie Laveau's that you will see later, but you probably won't even notice because I turned off my camera pretty quickly after they told me not to film. We visited in the middle of June and it was extremely hot and humid, so I believe the rest of that day we just went back to the hotel to rest in the cold air. And I honestly don't know why I don't have any footage from the rest of the day, but it was nice just spending time with my grandma. to Café Fleur de Lis. Uh, this was a super delicious breakfast. Um, there was also a beautiful crystal shop across the street, so we went and visited that afterwards. And then we're going to head to the Garden District. <laughs> Thank you. 
I also love how these oak tree roots are just breaking up the sidewalks. Unfortunately, Lafayette Cemetery is closed to the public, probably indefinitely, unless you have a loved one that is buried there, they have stopped allowing visitors due to vandalism. The Garden District has been home to many celebrities. Our tour guide said that he's seen Sandra Bullock, John Goodman, and we even saw one of the homes that Anne Rice had lived in. She's the famous author of the book turned into movie Interview with a Vampire. And interestingly enough, the wrought iron fence around her home has what looks like little skulls in the wrought iron, which I don't know if it was done on purpose, but it's pretty spooky. Also, I absolutely loved seeing all the Mardi Gras beads hanging from the trees and the electric lines. It was so interesting to see that these stay up all year long after Mardi Gras. That night, I tried catfish for the first time and it was obviously delicious. And then the next morning, we ended up stopping off at Starbucks. Um, it took a long time to find a Starbucks that was in working order. And then we went to the Museum of Death. They don't allow filming or photography of any kind. It is pretty morbid. I would say if you like true crime and you like spooky stuff, it is fun, but I wouldn't say that it's necessary. But then we just walked around a few stores, saw these cute little store puppies, and found this adorable incense burner. the beads the beads were just given to me that is all <laughs> after that we went back to rest our feet at the hotel for a while and then we went back to bourbon street to find some live music Street, but it was a little bit different than I expected. I expected a lot more jazz and things like this with the piano, but a lot of it was like DJ music going on. There's a lot of country music. There was all sorts of music going on. So it was just a giant party. Unfortunately, this was our last night in New Orleans. We decided to go get dinner, and again, everything we ate was incredible. And then we went on a ghost tour that night, but first we saw cockroaches. That was <laughs> horrifying. I was just sitting on the ground in Jackson Square when this came out from underneath my feet. Anyways, and then we ended our night and our trip with beignets from Cafe Du Monde. There was even a street performer playing jazz, just how I had hoped. <laughs>